Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In February and March of 2023, a joint military exercise took place at the Joint Readiness Training Center, JRTC, in Fort Johnson, Louisiana, involving the Armed Forces of the United States and the United Arab Emirates, UAE. This event was significant as it marked the first instance of the UAE's 11th Mountain Battalion participating in training on U.S. soil, showcasing the commitment of both nations to regional security and military preparedness. Arriving aboard United Arab Emirates Air Force C-17s, the 150 Emirati Mountain soldiers spent a week familiarizing themselves with the forested terrain of Louisiana, a notable departure from their homeland's desert and mountain landscapes. The successful execution of a mission in support of an American battalion demonstrated the high level of interoperability between UAE and American forces, a key focus for U.S. forces in the Middle East. Preparation for the UAE troops' visit to the United States began as early as 2022, with a team of 12 American trainers from the 3rd Security Force Assistance Brigade, SFAB, assisting in their training. Following two years of advising combat forces in Iraq and Afghanistan, the 3rd SFAB shifted to a model of partnering with ground forces across the Middle East, establishing beneficial partnerships in Jordan, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia. Since gaining independence from the United Kingdom in 1971, the UAE has maintained close relations with the United States across diplomatic, economic, and military spheres. Diplomatic ties were officially established in 1972, and economic trade between the two nations reached $23.03 billion in 2021, with the United States ranking as the UAE's third largest trading partner after China and India. Militarily, the UAE has collaborated with U.S. forces in Afghanistan and Iraq. In 2019, a renewed defense agreement was signed, emphasizing their joint commitment to combating terrorism, and the United States remains the UAE's primary provider of security and military equipment. Key military equipment acquired by the UAE includes tactical armored vehicles such as the MATV and M1114, as well as MRAP vehicles like the Navistar Max Pro, 3,375 units, and the BAE Cayman, 1,150 units. Artillery and rocket systems comprise the M109A3 self-propelled howitzer, 85 units, and the M142 HIMARS multiple launch rocket system, 32 units. Additionally, the UAE has procured the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, TOD, system, consisting of two batteries and 96 missiles, highlighting their commitment to robust air defense capabilities. In aviation, a significant milestone for the UAE Air Force was the completion of deliveries of ADF-16E-F Block 60 Desert Falcons in 2007, valued at $6.4 billion. These acquisitions, signed in March 2000 with Lockheed Martin, along with enhancements to the Mirage 2009, reflect the UAE's investment in multi-role aerial capabilities. The UAE Air Force's modernization efforts also include UH-60M helicopters, 26 units, equipped with AGM-114 and Hellfire-2 missiles and 30 AH-64A Apache combat helicopters upgraded to the AH-64D longbow standard. That's all for now. See you later.